Today in this video, I am going to show you how to install Symantec Endpoint Protection Manager on Windows Server 2019. Additionally, I will show you how to configure the Symantec Endpoint Protection Manager 14.3. If you want me to create a complete Symantec Endpoint Protection Manager tutorial series, let me know in the comment section and like this video too. Check description for more update and information. Hey guys, this is Ruban and you are watching Opbeat. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for future video notification. Before we start, let's check the system requirement. Let's start with OS. Operating system Windows Server 2008 R2, Windows Server 2012, 2012 R2, 2016 or 2019 is completely ok with the Symantec Endpoint Protection Manager version 14.3. Processor recommended is 8 core or greater, minimum Intel Pentium dual core or equivalent. Physical RAM minimum 2 gigs and recommend is 8 gigs or more. Hard disk if you are using a uh, local SQL database server or embedded database in that case uh, 200 GB is recommended or minimum 40 GB of your hard disk space. For further information about what are the new fixes in Symantec Endpoint Protection in 14.3 check out this article and if you don't know how to download it I have another article I will give all the links in the description so check them to download the endpoint protection uh, suite step by step with screenshot here it is now i have already downloaded the setup file next you have to extract it think 7zip i have already extracted so now just simply open the folder there is a setup file simply right click and run as administrator in Symantec Endpoint Protection Installation Program dialog box, click Install Symantec Endpoint Protection Manager. By clicking Next, the Management Server and Console installation will initiate. Select I accept the terms in the license agreement and click next. Now from here you can choose the destination folder. You can see the recommended uh, installation requirement CPU for physical memory 8 GB and the uh, pre disk space is 40 GB. And right now I have around 58 GB of hard disk, 2 CPUs and physical memory 8 GB. Uh, which is uh, well enough for uh, educational purpose installation. Now click next, click install, now it will take little time, so semantic endpoint protection manager is successfully installed, by clicking next uh, we have to initiate the configuration of the management server. Now click next. In this screen we have to choose the configuration type. The first option is default configuration for new installation fewer than 500 client. I will choose this option. If you have more than 500 client or any kind of custom settings like uh, external uh, database, external Microsoft SQL database, in that case you can choose this option. For now, uh, let me choose the first option, default configuration of new installation which is fewer than 500 clients and of course with embedded database. Now click next. In this screen you have to put the company name so let me type Orbit and the username uh, will be admin, it's uh, unchangeable. Now let me type the password. Confirm the password. Now email address. So the password select here is used 
for both the administrative password and the database password. If you change the administrative password after installation, the database password will not change. Remember it guys. Now click on next. You did not choose to send a test email to validate a specific email address. Do you want to? I will uh, click on no because right now I didn't configure the email server yet. So I just click on uh, no. Now I just uh, uncheck this run live update during installation because it will take little time. Once it is installed, uh, we can run live update. Click next data collection in the screen you can means use this option or you can just uncheck it so for for this installation leave it as it is and click on next the database is being created and initialized depending on the environment and the brand width it takes some time to complete be patient while the process complete nice Now the database is initializing on 3% Now it's updating some migration batch file Creating and testing report on ODBC, DSN and all Installing web, uh, web server services. Now it's reviewing Windows security policies. Well, configuration is completed. Now launch, uh, just uh, leave that tick as it is. Launch the Semantic Endpoint Protection Manager and click on finish. And this will launch the console. The management server console is loading right now. Well, the console is here. Now you have to log in with your ID and password. If you remember, the ID is admin and the password is. Oops. Should I say the password? Okay, now click login. So in this screen, as you can see, uh, run live update now. It's a tick. Active your product license right now. It is a trial version, so it is not yet activated. Let's take a quick overview of the console. The first option is home. From here, you can see the security status, license status, semantic security response, uh, security response, latest security news, uh, virus definition, security updates. Uh, then this is an activity summary box from here you can see how uh, how many detection are clean or blocked deleted quarantine suspicious newly infected still infected if you have any favorite report you can just uh, you can customize here or these are the base uh, these are the default options now here are endpoint status like total how many numbers of endpoint in your environment how many of them are up to date, or many of them are out of date, offline, disable, host integrity failed, uh, computer needs to restart. And uh, what is the definition right now in Semantic, which is uh, as you can see, it is uh, uh, 18th, 9th means September 18th, uh, 2020. And what is the latest on manager right now? You, you won't get this information, information is currently unavailable. Let's move to the next uh, option is monitor. From here you can basically get all the details like uh, summaries, risk distribution, new risk, sonar, risk distribution by group, risk distribution by source. It is a monitoring tab. From here you will get a variety of information as per your requirement. This is a notification tab. Then comes to uh, report. From here, you can create a quick report or you can schedule report as well. Then, uh, this is a policy tab. Uh, from here, you can create 
uh, tons of policies uh, as per your requirement, as per your environment, like virus and spyware poli protection policies, firewall policies, institution prevention policies, application device control, host integrity, live update, memory expert mitigation, uh, exception, integration. Then if, uh, policy component like you can create host group, file, fingerprint list, network services, adapter, devices, etc. Now let's move to client. From here you can see all the clients which are installed and connected with the Symantec Endpoint Protection Manager here. Next this is a admin zone means if you click on this tab you can see uh, this is an administrative uh, here is the option administrator then domain then domain then server install packages from here you can create packages you can export packages then this is a license part if you have a license then you can import them from here and this is a cloud part right now we are not going to discuss about the cloud option so right now we are restrict ourselves with on premises only. So let's conclude. We have successfully installed Symantec Endpoint Protection Manager 14.3 on Windows Server 2019 and we have configured it. And right now we have just uh, see what are in the dashboard and uh, the options available in the console. So that's all in this video. See you on the next one. Thank you.